Hello again, welcome back. Another trap is beer, but this one is from the USA. United States of America, Spencer. It's the only Trappist brewery in North America, I'm led to believe. So let's have a wee look to see what we can glean from the label. It's a beautiful label. American Trappist, Spencer Trappist Ale, paired with family and friends. No, it's a 33 centiliter bottle, ABV is 6.5%. Uh, not a lot on the back, ingredients, ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, yeast. So let's crack it open and see what it's like. Lovely cap. I've not got a Spencer chalice, so I'm using La Trap. This is bottle conditioned, so let's pour. The goodness into that. Not much ahead at all, actually. Let's have a wee look to see what the temperature is. 9.8 Celsius. Which isn't too bad. Should be around about between 8 and 12, I think, for these beers. Let's have a look at the colour. Yeah, so it's marmalade, basically. Or honey, even. Is there some activity there? It's I can see the barest shadow in my hand and there is some light carbonation. It's a nucleated glass of course. So that's maintaining that thin filmy head. It's malty and fruity. There's a wee bit of booziness there as well, which is for a 6.5%, I don't usually pick that up. Anyway, cheers my dears. Oh, that's beautiful. It's quite unusual, that. There is a bit of bitterness there as well. But not overly so, it's not it's no the dominating thing. I don't think there's any one thing dominating. It's like there's a fruitiness there, like it's like pear or something. I think that's usually an off flavour of beers, but <laughs> this it's not off. I opened a bottle of beer. This is an aside. I opened a bottle of beer earlier today that I've had for about eight years but it was San Miguel <laughs> it didn't have a label on it it still had the crown on and I just wanted to see what it was like <laughs> well it, it looked okay but the smell it was skunked, it was disgusting it was off so I just wanted to get rid of it, create some space I don't know why I kept that anyway yeah so there's a definite Sweet fruitiness there. Maybe a bit herbal, like plant, plant like. It smells fresh though. Oh, yeah. I think that's what it is, it's like herbal, it's no spicy, it's herbal, plant-like, with the malt, mixed in with the malt, they sort of take an equal share, with a touch of resinous bitterness, pithy bitterness, but it's, there's no citrus element to it, so we look at the colour to see, that'll show up, 
the honey colours marmalade, I would say that is. Let's see what Untapped's got to say. Right. It's it's just called Trappist Ale from Spencer Brewery. They're a micro microbrewery in Spencer M A is that Michigan? Massachusetts? Milwaukee. <laughs> I'll look that up and put that in. MA United States. So it's class the style is a Belgian Enkel or Peters beer, which is what the monks drink themselves. But I would have thought this is too strong for that. I thought they were like table beers, two, three percent, four percent. This is six point five percent ABV. IBU twenty three. French check-ins 3, with an average of 4.08. That's pretty good. Excuse me, hiccups. Everyone else is 76.7 thousand, with an average of 3.66. That's okay. America's first Trappist beer. Our recipe was inspired by the traditional refectory ales known as Peter's beer, Father's beer in Flemish, in Belgium. These sessionable beers are brewed by the monks for their dinner table and are typically only available at the monastery. Spencer is a full-bodied, golden-hued ale with fruity accents, a dry finish and light hop bitterness. The beer is unfiltered and unpasteurised, preserving live yeast that naturally carbonates the beer in the bottle and keg and contributes to the beer flavour and aroma. Descriptors are smooth, light, fruity, banana, dry. Yeah, there is, it is. It is a dry finish. Banana. There is a slight banananess to it. But when you've been drinking things like I'm trying to think what's really powerfully banana like like a delirium tremens or things like that. This is a subtle banana flavour. It has got a fruitiness. Maybe it could be banana. I said pear. But anyway, this is an excellent beer. Before I score it. Yeah, I'm going to give this 9.2 out of 10. It's not... I, I like the doubles and the maltier beers, the darker beers. But this, for what it is, is outstanding. I mean, I've got another bottle in the fridge. So... Compared with some of the ones that have the, the doubles I've had and the quadruples and whatever, it's not quite as good as aim. That's on a personal note, but it's a, a top quality beer. Yeah, it's excellent. So a nine point two. That's a really good score. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears. It's very nice.